Gaussian splatting, most commonly asked questions. Let's do this. Can I delete parts of my 3D Gaussian splat and edit it? Because maybe you just want to keep the subject. You scanned a sneaker or a car. You don't want the environment. You just want the freaking car. The answer is yes. Depending on the 3D software that you use, whether it's Unreal, Unity, or Blender, you will have different limitations. For example, in Unreal, you will get a bounding box to only crop your Gaussian, so you cannot specifically select which ellipsoid you want to delete. However, we saw on Twitter, someone managed to do it in Unity. They can go and selectively delete some of the ellipsoids. Now, you know that this opens up a whole world of possibility for 3D Gaussian splats, because the moment you can remove the floaters, the fog, the extra artifacts, you can essentially use this for video games down the line, for virtual production. Question number two, can I turn these Gaussians into a mesh with polygons? Not yet. So what happens when you create a 3D Gaussian splat? You get a .py file, which is a point cloud file. And these Gaussians, these point clouds, represent a lot of useful information like color value, transparency values, different sizes, and they're actually view dependent as well, which is what makes 3D Gaussian splats so damn photorealistic. And the moment you go and turn this into a mesh with polygons, you're essentially turning these point clouds into triangles that will represent the same subject. The problem with that is you're gonna lose a lot of that useful information in that process. And there are ways that you can do this conversion prior to 3D Gaussian Splat, where they take .py files of buildings and turn them into mesh, but the quality will not be good. But, there's always a but. You can bet that eventually with AI, we'll be able to take all of this useful information and turn it into a mesh and still keep that beautiful photorealistic look. So yes, it's not possible now, but might be in the future. Question number three, can I use these Gaussians in a video game? Yes. Well, in fact, it's already being used in Unreal Engine Fortnite Editor. There's literally a video about a guy who took a Gaussian splat and then dropped Fortnite characters within the Gaussian splat. And the documentation for the plugin that we use for Unreal Engine actually talks about this and allows you to do this. Now, Gaussian splats in nature run extremely fast, which is what makes them optimal for scenarios like virtual production and video games. Question number four, is there a difference if I train the Gaussians myself versus using online sources like Polycam? So when you're training your Gaussians yourself, you have more flexibility, but that comes with a cost. First, you need a beefy GPU, you need to know how to use a command prompt. Also, you cannot run multiple scans at the same time. When you're using an online system like Polycam, what you can use, you can run multiple scans at the same time. We but, might have abused their servers. <laughs> but, but the only thing is the number of iteration is always optimized to what their servers have been set to. So if you really want to go into customization and you want to know what number of iteration you want to do, you can train your own, but you have to make sure you have a 24 GB VRAM at least. Final question, can we use the 3D Gaussians in virtual production? The answer is unknown. And the reason why we say that is because if you want to run an environment on an LED volume to use for commercials, for ads, for movies, for film, like The Mandalorian, then you need to really test that environment and see how it performs. Does it run at 50? 40, 60 FPS where it's optimal for the different kinds of production. And you have to also see, does it look photo real when you project it on a giant LED? And that's what we're gonna find out next week. What's the plan? We are gonna go to a studio and we are gonna try a 3D Gaussian on an LED vault. The video is gonna come out next week. Until then, have fun with Ciao. your own G splats. Oh, wait, wait. Have you? I'm not gonna say it anymore. Far out, come back. Come back. Hasn't subscribed. Hasn't subscribed. Disappointed. How dare you not subscribe? Go and subscribe right now. If you don't subscribe, somebody in your dream is gonna haunt you tonight.